today uh, we're going to be talking about uh, Paradise Station. Um, it's a uh, Space Station 13 game off of the Bion Hub. And um, yeah, we're just going to go right into it. Uh, a tutorial on how to play and uh, give you some good tips on how to uh, enjoy your first round, I would assume, of uh, Paradise Station, if that's what you want. Um, I'm going to try to include some timestamps of what I'm going to be talking about uh, during this video. So if you just need help with one certain thing, um, just look down in the description and hopefully I'll have some timestamps up for you. <laughs> so I'm um, here, you have your uh, little window here that shows you just about everything you need to click here. But the first thing I want to talk about is up here on the right. So the first thing you really need to do before you get into this um, game is to read the rules. I'm not really going to explain the rules for you, but um, if you just click on this uh, little tab here, it'll take you to the site, and it'll tell you uh, the rules of how to play and uh, what not to do so they don't yell at you and ban you or something like that. So I don't really focus on these things. This thing just tells you what they're changing, uh, you know, Discord, the karma systems, like uh, you get point people kind of award you karma but that's not something i really want to talk about today um, these are kind of important here the lobby status exam um, this one tells you what admins are aligned so you got four admins here four mentors and um, if you ever need it if you ever ever have a question and um don't know how to do something you need to learn how to do something uh if it's just general specific game questions, um, the first thing you want to do is talk about mentor help. These are the guys that are specifically, their job is basically to help you with these questions. And admin help is something more serious, like if someone's killed you or you need some actual in-game help, like uh, assistance. So that's a more specific one. And um, yeah, these ones I'll get into the game. We get into the game a bit more, so um, let's just start about the character. So, first thing you want to do, um, if you really care about what your guy looks like when you go into the game, is to hit setup character. Um, here, just have a random character that's been picked. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, first thing you want to see is um, you have your name here. You can always randomize it if you want, but um, let's just pick something like Bob. Gary. No, no. <laughs> Bob Stenson. Alright. And um, right down here, you have your gender, your age. Um, age doesn't really matter. It's more of a, like, a lore thing, but um, nothing you really need to be worried about. But um, you have your genders here. You can pick male or female. Um, species. Um, some of these species are going to be locked for you. Um, yeah, we'll get into that later. Um, picking for you to uh, pick, so basically going to have human uh, Treheran, which are cat people, like that. Um, Skrells, which are basically aquatic people. Um, Uanthes are lizards. Um, Dionas are basically plant people. <laughs> and Fulps are like dogs or something like that. So and these three other ones, um, they're like uh, locked by the Karma system. So um, once you get playing a little bit, people award you for stuff you do on the game. You can probably pick those, but that's not something I really want to get into here. Um, yeah, so you can pick all these kind of things. Language, skin tone, disabilities, relationship with the corporation you're working for. And you can also change your hair, body markings, facial hair, and eyes. You just basically click, and then you scroll all the way down to what you think will look nice on your character. So let's just pick something like that. <laughs> um, yeah. And, um... So you can change if you have robotic arms. Yeah, you just go through here and pick what your character wants to look like. So let's just save that setup there. And um, what you do is you hit join game. And since currently I joined uh, a bit late into the round, as you can tell, uh, there was a vote to um, <clears throat> restart the server. But I think we can get it done before it ends. So here is the spawn location. And there's a... <laughs> There's a dead guy right there for some reason. Um, yeah. So, um, the first thing you want to look down here is your HUD. So, this little um, area right here is your backpack. Well, sorry. Um, excuse me. Your um, equipment. 
So each one of these resembles the part of your body which you can attach something to. So this is my uh, clothing. And this is something you can put over your clothing, like a, like armor or maybe like, for example, this lab coat you can put over. And um, here you have your ears, you have your headset, which basically you can talk to people like you can just say, for example, hello. But, uh, well, um, <laughs> it seems the communications are down. Um, so, you have your shoes. Um, this is a big part of what um, you need to have on you, basically, throughout the round. It's your ID card. Um, you're able to get through doors, specific doors. Um, once I get into the other episodes, um, you'll basically uh, need this for specific jobs. And PDA is pretty... Uh, click on it, and... Um, <laughs> You have a messenger which you can send messages to everyone else on the station. And um, that's all you really need to know about this. Uh, if we get into a little bit more of the Antag positions, I'll, let, I'll, I'll learn to teach about that. But for right now, that's about it. Um, so you walk with your arrow keys. Um, basically, up, down is up and down. <laughs> um, pretty normal like that. Um, yeah, and then you have your backpack here which can uh, hold everything for you. Um, specific, there's only a specific amount of space, so you can't carry everything with you. But for you want to, there's specific um, talking commands that you want to uh, know before you uh, start in the game. Like this guy's talking to me. And this is uh, your side here. This is um, everything that's going on in the game where you can't see. So he just said something like that, and then I can just respond by saying S A W. So say. And then you hit space, and then you can type cool. I don't know, that's what I just said. So then it appears here, and then he reads it. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> probably not the best uh, response to that, but um, yeah, that's how you talk to people. Just type say, space, and then whatever you want to type. And um, for communications on your headset, just want to type S-A-W space as normal and you have to hit this semicolon and that will get you into the command channel here you just type hi but since the telecommunications are down um, it's not really doing anything so since I'm an assistant I really don't do much um, kind of just walk around <laughs> see if anyone needs help uh, become a nuisance sometimes um, yeah, so, um, I'm gonna get into this here, so the objects here, you change your suit sensors, off, check in beacons more specifically enabled, because, um, medical can see where you are, and if you're dead, and speaking about dead and hurt, I want to talk about, um, this thing right here, uh, this is your health, it's not really a specific uh, health enabling. You have your health here that tells you 100%, so I'm perfectly healthy. But if I click on myself with the help intent here, I'll get into that in just a second. It tells me that I'm okay on all my body parts. So there's four boxes here that you really need to concern yourself with. Um, this one is help, the green button. The blue button is disarm. The red button is harm, so I can punch someone if I click on them. And yellow is to pull, which you can pull people. And um, a lot of things in this game you can interact with just by clicking on them with your mouse. For example, I just picked up this flag. <laughs> and um, yeah, so let's just go up to the top right here. Your status tells you the round time, your intent, and uh, move mode. The emergency shuttle has docked with the station. So since we're at the end of the, the round, um, the round's resetting. So if I don't get everything done uh, during this round, um, I'll just cut it and start it. Get again. to the shuttle crew. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I want to talk to you guys about if you're new to this game, but um, just for general here, um, I'll tell you about where everything is here. Later. I'm probably going to have to do a second part of this. Some specific things you want to know is um, 
but this doesn't really help you that much. I don't understand what the point of that part is, but... Um, I talked about admin. In the IC tab, you can do a lot of stuff with this tab. So you can check your uh, default languages. This tells you what you type after you hit say. So if I do one and say hi, it becomes a specific language only for people that have soul content. So, uh, understand? And, uh, give people stuff, you give something on your hand, and notes, this isn't really specific for you unless you want to take money out of the account or if you're an anti it's for another video. Pray is just something that <laughs> you don't really need to worry about that. Resist is a very good thing for you if you get attacked by someone. So let's just say someone gets you in like a chokehold or something, you grab them and they try to harm you with that, you can say resist and then they have to re- you. Um, rest is for laying down. Like this. Boop. Fall down. Can't move anywhere. Um, yeah. And uh, as you can see, it's kind of chaotic here in this shuttle because uh, for some reason Paradise likes to uh, cram everyone into a tight shuttle like this where everyone <laughs> tends to not like each other. <laughs> but um, flavor text, don't need to hear about that as much for now. Pose is just a war kind of thing. Sleep will actually just knock you out for a short period of time, then you wake up. And um, yeah, it's the OSC tab. Um, the only thing you really need to worry about here is to click on this. It's Ghost. If you're dead, you can click on that, and you can ghost. Which basically means you're observing. You can leave your body and you're observing around. Um, objects. Most the suit sensors. Maybe rotate chair if you like rotating chairs. Um, rolling down jumpsuit, I don't know. And uh, preferences. This um, is something you can do when you're observing or when you're creating your account. Adios, Basically, a large portion of this game is clicking things. This. this is quite chaotic. Here. Okay, click on this thing here. It's a banana. <laughs> you can, um, for example, eat this by clicking on your character. And after you eat it enough times, it becomes a banana peel, which you can just slip yourself on. So yeah, that's something. But a lot of this game is based on clicking. So, clicking does various things which you can explore and understand how they work. So, click on the backpack, opens the backpack. I click on a banana, put that banana in the backpack. It's in the backpack. It's pretty simple if, yeah, if you kind of feel like that. So, it's this little bit of dust around to uh, talk about it, but. I'll probably cut um, right here and uh, start on a new round and um, hopefully tell you about the good primates. And, uh... All right, and we're back. So um, yeah, I just assumed that having my mic a little bit louder <laughs> compared to the other one would be a bit more beneficial. So um, yeah, I uh, lowered hopefully the volume of the gate. And uh, so hopefully that will help with the last portion. So, um, yeah, let's just talk about um, where the heck are we? So, um, right here where I'm running around in circles is the escape bay. So basically, you're on a station in space. And um, there's a lot of people here that need to do their jobs. Um, there's a science department, security department, hydroponics, um, service department engineering and um, cargo yeah there's also a command um, so yeah so this is right here to the left of the escape pod bay um, if you're gonna join late um, you're gonna spawn all the way to the left of the station um, since I joined this round uh, kind of spawn me in a random spot so 
Yeah, so right here is the science department. Hello. Um, they uh, do research. Um, I'll be talking about each specific department in a um, separate videos. So I won't be um, talking about these in detail, but I'll talk about the general gist of them. So science um, researches gets higher levels and they're able to upgrade the stations. Uh, more proficient, creates more pr proficient, um, more proficient uh, equipment so they can go quicker. And um, the reason why it's so dark is because um, they added a new thing on the station recently that um, <laughs> allows, uh, <laughs> there's a time, station time, not just the actual round time. So it's night right now, so they kind of lower the uh, lights a bit. So, um, yeah. Um, one thing I did not talk about in the last cut um, would be there's a bar up here that's called food. So, right now I'm pretty well fed, so I'm not really that hungry. But the more you spend your round, uh, the more your hunger bar is going to go down, so you might as well just eat something. So you can, uh... <laughs> so you can, uh continue your fast walking like this. So um right here is um hydroponics. They basically grow plants. And uh <laughs> um yeah, and they give it basically to the chef. So yeah. And the chef makes food. And talking about the chef, um passed by it just recently. Um this guy is making donk pockets from a microwave, so not really the most uh, yummy food, but hopefully he'll make something good for us later into the run. And um, yeah, here's Med Bay. Um, it has a connection to chemistry where they produce medicines. And this is the reception desk where a dog person <laughs> is uh, manning the health scanner HUD. I mean, monitor. So, um, yeah, you get a big area open here, a big hallway, um, two sleepers, which are used for administering medicine to people. Um, yeah, I won't get into all what these things do, but just the gist of this, this is med bay. A little bit left of the escape ball, which we first started with. And, um, yeah, so um, let's keep going here with the department tour. We got the bar, which is a nice place to get a drink. But fortunately, there's no bartender currently. Um, there's instruments, gambling, arcades. And it's just a place to really chill. And if you uh, are bored, just sit around there. Hopefully, you'll talk, find someone to talk to. So left of this, um, that's a Borg, by the way. Those are robots that um, players can play. Not like They have specific um, traits. Get into that later. This is the command bridge area, where um, the captain, um, head of personnel, um, they kind of just sit here and do all their busy uh, legislature crap. <laughs> oh yeah, up here, um, you have EVA, which is basically it's spacesuits. Um, you can get, um, go into space, actually, like this guy seems like he's going into space. But, um, you have to have special access for that. Um, you just have to ask. And uh, something's going on over there. And um, we'll go over there later. But um, to the left of me right here is uh, Cargo. Oh, wow. There's like no one here. What the heck? Oh, they're all over there in the back. But um, this place manages ships and sends back crates. Order specific things that the, car the crew needs. Or what the heck they just want to do. So... Um, yeah, um, they have a specific thing right there called the Autoloth. So, um, once I go into the cargo video, I'll talk about that a little bit more. And um, the right here is the head of personnel's office. Basically means you can get a job, change your job, get demoted, um, get additional access. So, you just got to talk to uh, HR personnel, and then they give you forms, and it's just uh, pipe work. Um, down here, you got the Blue Shield's office. Um, the Blue Shield is basically a bodyguard for the captain or a command staff. Because um, 
as I'll explain hopefully in the future, uh, there tend to be some evil people on the station, such as antagonists, um, that perhaps might kill them. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that'll be a different episode, but right at that is the anti-rep's office. Um, the station is owned by Nano Trazen, so um, they have a representative. It's basically just roleplay kind of aspect to it, so... <laughs> And, um, you got a, uh, janitor's closet right here, so. Person that cleans up everything. I, th I, hope, I hope you know what a janitor is. Um, so right here you got engineering. Um, they basically keep the power online and, uh, run things so stuff doesn't break or get spaced or depressurized or, you know, atmospherics, that kind of stuff, like I said. Um, I'm not very proficient in engineering, so I can't, I don't think I'm going to create an episode on that, so. Um, if you need help with that, just um, ask mentors, admins, maybe find a different video of someone else that's created these. Um, to the left here of the hallway of engineering is the mechanics workshop, which is basically another roleplay aspect where you just make space pods and fly around. <laughs> that's about it, really. You're just a glorified engineer that can make space pods. Um, I'm running in maintenance right now. There's a lot of these um, maintenance tunnels that you can go through. Um, basically, they help make it quicker instead of going through the main hallways and are a prime haven for evil people to hide in and to kill you. So yeah, probably not the best idea to go in those. And here we're heading into the arrivals hallway. Um, here you have a tool storage area, nothing really specific. Um, this is a place I really enjoy, it's called the Gateway. Um, you have to get a specific job though to get in, or if you're cert certain players, they just hack in and break in and then go in. It's like a random uh, map that you can play. That's random for each round. But hopefully I'll get into that with a gateway explorer job. <clears throat> pet store. Pets. Um, I don't know if I explained this yet, but if you want to use a vendor, just click on it. And um, you see here, for example, it says buy. Um, these are credits. Um, if you go back to your IC tab up here and hit notes, you can tell how much money you have at the start of the round. And um, your ID allows you for to spend things, so it's basically like a credit card as well, as a door opener. So, let's just say I want to buy goldfish eggs. So hit that. Just please swipe your card or insert cash. Um, so you, can just, you can just click your card, click it on the vendor, and it vends it for you. So, yeah, there you go. Goldfish eggs. There you go. Oh, there's no water in it. That's a shame. Yeah, um, right here you got the vault, a very secure area where um, some of the secrets of the station are hidden. Yeah, go look in there. And um, down here you have your uh, locker room. Wow, it's incredibly dark in here. Basically, you can vend. These ones don't cost money. You can just click on the thing you want, and it'll come out. Like, I want a monocle. Boop. There it is. And um, since this is an eye item, you can just click it right here. And as you can see, if I'm moving this around on my character... Has a lot of red. And this red means I can't put it in this spot. But if it's green, it fits. So if you have any issues with what you can fit, um, this can help you. So this one fits on my eye. For example, this wizard rope could fit right here. So yeah. And um, down here you got a bathroom, you know, just clothing, a lot of clothing. And up here you get a bigger tool storage from the previous one that we saw your tools and uh, stuff, so that's a, another portion that's kind of a spe specific to get into. And here you have the civilian gardening area. As you can see, the clown <laughs> is uh, trying to make banana trees, so only uh, bad can happen from that. And the uh, arrivals checkpoint, this is never used, don't even worry about this place. Yeah, and um, you got here, uh, you got a vacant office. That's about it, really, for that. Nothing really special in there. And, and if you've been uh, looking at this right area here, um, there's been a lot of people talking on the command channel, so, I mean, uh, general comms. So if, if I want to try that again, just type hi. It becomes green. And if I just type regular, it says it's black. So the green here is the general comms. And I did that by using the semicolon again to talk. 
and regular just talking to the people around you that are in your view are just just type it regularly like hi so then um yeah this is where i was at the beginning of the video this is where you spawn in if you uh, miss the start time so um yeah you got some skate pods here oh i missed a few things um we're gonna head back here and head to security i think that's the one i'm missing um, also by the escape um shuttle area where i from the cut um there's a chapel's office and a uh, library those aren't very uh interesting places i guess unless you think those are i don't know not for me <laughs> so up here north you got the iia office which basically handles all prisoner processing if there's something wrong like the security officers are beating you or you know kind of thing like that they kind of step in and uh, magistrate which basically is supreme justice of all which can basically tell you if you're going to get executed or not. But hopefully that doesn't happen to you. And then you got the mimes office here, which is nothing spectacular. And then you got the clown's office right next to it. And this is the courtroom, which is rarely used. Um, usually it ends up with someone bombing the area, which is not a very good thing. And up here you have this brig security office area. People that hit someone, kill someone, uh, steal things, get kind of processed and thrown in these little cells for a specific amount of time. Um, if I go into the security role jobs, um, I'll tell you all about space law. But yeah, since I'm just a civilian, I can only open certain doors, um, specific department doors I cannot open. I can open maintenance tunnels, the bar doors, hallway doors, and then that's really just about it. So. Yeah, that's about the tour. Just about the tour. Oh no. Seems like the chef quit. That's not good. How am I supposed to get food? And um, yeah, so um, I'm going to go over a few more things and that'll be it for this tutorial. Um, yeah, just saying I'll have a timestamp just to make sure that uh, this is kind of boring for you and you just need to know one certain thing. I'll have them down there for you. So yeah. Um, one thing you can use to get rid of things on your back is to click on your backpack and drag it into your hand. And wow, look at that. It's on my hand. Incredible. Yep. So you can just uh, press it back just by clicking on it again. And uh, clicking it will just open it. And uh, as you can see, there's a box in here. Box holds certain things, smaller things usually. So it's another storage item that you can fit in your bag. Um, as I mentioned before, there's a uh, atmospherics aspect to this game. So if you, for example, break this window, one of these windows and go into space, like right here, um, yeah, um, you will get sucked out and uh, die from lack of oxygen and pressure. But for example, if it breached and the whole area is depressurized, you can just use a um, the things in your box you start off with. It's called a breath mask, and you just click on it. It goes in your hand. Click on your uh, equipment item and use your mouth. Click on right here. This is the mouth area, mask area. Click on that. And wow, you got a breath mask on. And um, just take this tank out and then put it in your pocket, belt, or if you have a certain uh, jacket or robe on, you can put it here. But since it doesn't fit, it says you're not able to equip that. So put it right here. And wow. You have this on but the most important thing you want to do is to go up here on the top left and click on set internals click on that and bam you're breathing in oxygen from the tank and uh, if we go to status and click on it bam you have your tank pressure here um, if that goes to zero you're going to start suffocating so be sure to turn it off if you're not using it and um yeah um, one thing I did in, during the video was, uh, since it was so dark, I clicked on this and hit flashlight. This creates a little bit of light for you, so if you're stuck in the dark, just click on your PDA, click on it, and hit enable flashlight. And bam, you got a little bit of light. Um, yeah, so uh, I think I covered just about everything. Um, you have a run and walk tab here. For example, um, if you're trying to walk somewhere like a slippery surface like the janitor uh oh looks like it's code blue um 
put some water down on the floor or something like that, cleaning up water, whatever the heck it was. Just walk. Walking is very important, unless if you're going to start running on a slippery surface, you're going to slip and fall. So that's not very good. <laughs> yeah, and um, this is, uh, oh, you got right here. Um, if specific areas you can aim for, so if I want to aim for the head in harm, and punch myself in the head by just by clicking on myself. I don't know why I would do that, but I would deal damage. So, um, yeah, there's specific things that do more damage than others. Punching doesn't do very much. Some things don't do any damage at all, like rubber duckies <laughs> or uh, this thing right here. See, it does no damage. There's nothing changing here. And if I hit exam, uh, yeah. One thing I think might be an issue for a new person would be um, if you're in the harm tab, you're going to hurt anyone you click on. So always be sure to keep a help intent on unless you're thinking about hurting someone. I don't know. But um, yeah, it's better for everyone. And also if you have the harm tab on and you try to click on a table, it'll just hit it. So you have to have help intent for it to be placed. So, um, yeah, um, should cover just about everything, so, um, if there's, uh, anything you want to know, uh, anything extra, anything I'm missing, uh, for this, um, just, uh, ask down in the comments, or, uh, message me, or anything like that, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna cut this video off, and, uh, hopefully soon I'll get some of the job-specific, uh, videos in so one thing I do want to show you guys at the end is if you want to ever write something <laughs> so you just gotta pick up a pen and a piece of paper and just click on it BAM would you look at that just wrote high on that piece of paper BAM incredible guys alright see you guys later um, hopefully this was informative uh, yeah Bye.